Let's see the next template. Some elements are always together. This is the next template. Tell me what is the answer for this? How many permutations of this string you have, which contain a string ABC? Which contain, okay, so actually this should be substring. Basically the question is asking substring ABC. You must have substring ABC. So how should you do? So this is the template. This is the template. Some elements are always together. In this template, what we do? In this template, what we do? In this template, what we do? Some elements are always together. In this template, what we do? Just put them in a box. Put, tie them together. Tie them together. Put them in a box. Put them in a box. Very simple. Tie them together. Because they should be together, right? So tie them together. So this is the answer for this template. And this is a very popular template. So what you can do very simple. So you can consider this ABC. You can put it in one box. These things you can put in one box. ABC. And then you have D, E, F, G, H. Now wherever they will go, they will go together. This box will go as. So consider them as one element. Put them in a box. Consider as one element. Consider as single unit. Consider as single unit, okay? As single unit. So you can consider them as single unit. Wherever they will go, they will go together. So finally, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer will be six factorial, okay? So how many substring ABC you have? Answer will be six factorial. Very simple. Okay, let's solve. Let's solve this variation. A lot of variations I have taken. So tell me what is the answer for this? The string BCD, this BCD must be there. Again, this will be six factorial because this BCD you can put in one box. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, there will be five factorial. So that will be five factorial. In the previous question, we have GH. Okay. So for this answer will be five factorial. What about this CFGA? For this answer will be four factorial. CFGA, you can put in one box. Okay, so finally you will have four factorial. What about this? The string BA should be there and GF should be there. The string BA should be there. So this C. So this BA should be there. This BA substring should be there. And this GF substring should be there. So these you can put in one box. So A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So you can just put C, D, E. So how many units you have? You have one, two, three, four, five. So the answer will be five factorial. Wherever they will go, they will go like this. For example, how many permutations of ABC have CA? So how many permutations have? ABC does not have. So first of all, how many permutations of ABC? So what will be the answer? Permutations of ABC. First you write all the permutations of ABC. This is a permutation of ABC. This is permutation of ABC. This is permutation of ABC, permutation of ABC, permutation of ABC, permutation of ABC. And what is the desired answer? Has substring CA. Has a substring CA. This is the desired answer. So the only, okay, this is also desired answer. Has substring CA, CA. So this is your answer. Answer will be two. How many permutations have a substring CA? So these are the permutations. Six permutations are there for ABC. How many permutations of ABC have CA? Please read the question. These are the permutations of ABC. From these permutations, which have CA substring? So these two, so the answer will be two. Two permutations have CA substring. Now let's come back to this question. So for option C, answer will be and what will be the answer for this? A, B, C, comma, D, E. For this, the answer will be, I think, 4 factorial. Right? Because A, B, C, A, B, C, you have to put together. A, B, C, D, E. And there is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. So the answer will be 4 factorial. What about this question? A, B, C and C, D, E. What about this? A, B, C and C, D, E. What about this question? 
So here answer will be three factorial. You must have ABC. You must have CDE. How is it possible? You must have substring ABC, and you must have substring CDE. How is it possible? In the same string, you must have this substring, this substring. How is it possible? It is only possible when you have substring A, B, C, D. Only in this situation it is possible. It is possible only in this situation. Is this clear? Tell me. In the same string, how can you have this also, this also? How can you have both of them? Only possibility is A, B, C, D, E. This is the only possibility. So the answer will be, okay, the answer will be like this. So this A, B, C, D, E, this you will put in a box, A, B, C, D, E, and F, G. So the answer will be three factorial. Is this clear? And what about this? C, B, A, B, E, D. Both of them should be there. Both of them should be there. This cannot be possible. You can never have both of them as substring. You can never have. So the answer will be zero. You cannot have C, B, A, B, E, D. Both of them you cannot have. It is not possible to have these two substring in this, in any permutation. In any permutation, you cannot have both of them. So this is your variation when some elements are always together. Another variation is some elements are never together. So what we do in this variation, what to do? Some elements are never together. In this variation, what you do? First, you arrange the remaining elements. First, arrange remaining elements. This is the idea. First, you arrange the remaining elements. Remaining people. First, you arrange remaining elements. Then, in gaps, you put them. Then, in gaps, put these elements which are not together. Put them. Okay, so this is the idea. For example, you have eight men five women they stand in a line so that no two women stand next to each other women comma women they should not stand next to each other no two women should stand next to each other so what will be the answer the hint is this first you put men because women should not be together no, okay you cannot some elements are never together so women should not be together so what you do first you put men then consider the gaps. In the gaps, you put the women. Okay, so first you put the men. Eight men, five women. There are eight men. There are five women. What you do? These five women, none of them should be together. No two together. None of them should be together. Then what I do? First I put these eight men. How many ways to put eight men? How many ways to put eight men? M3, M4. M5, M6, M7, M8. How many ways to put eight men? Eight factorial. Eight factorial ways to put eight, eight men. Total eight men, you have eight factorial ways. Now, in the gaps, in the gaps, you can put the women. How many gaps? Total nine gaps. From these nine gaps, you select five gaps for women. You select five gaps for women. You select five gaps for women. In these five gaps, the women can uh, stand in five factorial ways. Is it clear? Is this clear? So you select five gaps for women. And in these five, in these five gaps, the women can stand in five factorial ways. So the answer is eight factorial multiplied by nine P five. This is the answer. Is this clear to everyone? Tell me, can I say this? Is this correct? Eight men, you have eight men, you have five women. Okay, and women should not be together. No women together. No two women together. Can I say this is equal to total minus all together? All women together, can I say? Can I say this? Is this logic correct? No, this logic is not correct. You are saying no women together. You are saying no women together. Okay, so total minus all women together. This is not correct. Why this is not correct? Total minus all women together. It simply means not all women are together. See, in this, 
in this you will count this this will be counted like men women men men women 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 men men okay so this will be counted like this this case will be counted yes or no this case will be counted agree or not is this clear so this case actually will be counted when you do this because total minus all women together okay so this case actually will be counted but you should not count this this case should not be counted here this case should not count should not count okay but but this will count so i hope this is clear is this point clear that don't do this so no women together it simply means that first you arrange the remaining elements then in the gaps you put the women so this is the idea what is the answer for this what will be the answer for this how many ways are there such that two women six men stand in a line no two men stand next to each other so first you arrange 10 factorial ways for women first you arrange women there are 10 factorial ways for women there are 11 gaps in those 11 gaps you can permute six men in the 11 gaps you can permute six men okay so this is the idea and what about this question how many ways are there to select a committee you want to select a committee of five members at least one women must be there at least one women must be there so seven women nine men at least one women must be there so seven women nine men and question number a question number a is saying you have a committee of five members at least one woman five members select five at least one woman just tell me is this correct what i do select okay at least one woman should be there so what i do so what i do at least one woman should be there so let me select one woman okay from seven let me select one woman so this is reserved for one woman okay let me select one woman so i am selecting one woman now what to do now now from the remaining what you do you select four people now from the remaining okay so how many remaining remaining are 15 from remaining you select four people is this correct is this answer correct is this answer correct so you select one woman first you select one woman and then from the remaining from the remaining you select four people you select four people so this is again the same common mistake the same most common mistake the same most common mistake this is the same com most common mistake what because see this is reserved for women yes or no this is reserved for type 1 people this is reserved for women and you are allowing women and you are again allowing women are you getting my point so this is over counting the same common mistake you are doing so this is also over counting over counting the same things you will count many times okay so don't do this mistake 7c1 into 15c4 this is wrong so finally what will be the answer the answer you can do like this okay so total at least one women so what i can do i can do total minus no women total means total means from 16 people you select five people and no women means from nine men you select five people this is the answer because total means okay so total i have total i have 16 people there are 16 people so from 16 people you select five people now no women is selected it means from the men you are selecting five people so this is the idea what okay so remember this is the most common mistake again these seats are reserved for women and you are again allowing women here this is the problem okay so this is the same most common mistake anyway let's see question number b 
what that will be how many ways are there to select a committee how many ways are there to select a committee of five members in the department if at least one women and at least one man must be there so what should be the answer so seven women nine men and what what we want we want at least one man at least one woman at least one man at least one woman so the first of all the common mistake what is the common mistake from seven women you select one women from the nine men you select one man and from the remaining from the remaining you select three people from the remaining you select three people this is again your same most common mistake because again this is wrong again this is wrong the same most common mistake same most common mistake because what is happening here here you are this is reserved for whom tell me this is reserved for this is reserved this is reserved for women this is reserved for men this is reserved for men and now you are again allowing when men comma women now you are again allowing men comma women okay so this is wrong and the same this will do over counting this thing will do over counting the same thing you will count many times so the answer will answer should be like this answer should be that from total you remove when there is no man you also remove when there is no woman okay from total you remove when there is no man or and also when there is no woman so total is 16 c5 when no man is there it means 7 c5 when no women is there it means 9 c5 is this clear so from total what you do you remove when no man is there when no women is there okay so these two things you find okay so this is your answer so quite simple if there are 12 stocks okay seven are increasing two are decreasing two are staying same so how many ways this can happen so you decide who will increase 12 c7 who will increase so what do you do first you decide who will increase for who will increase so from 12 you select seven who will increase okay then then from the remaining you select three who will decrease from the remaining you select three who will decrease and who will stay the same from the remaining you select okay so they will stay the same this is your answer the remaining two will stay the same see th this you can remove also no problem this you can remove also because the remaining two automatically they will stay the same tell me tell me is this the most common mistake scenario is this the most common mistake scenario is this the most common mistake scenario no see these are reserved for increasing these are is reserved for increasing we are not allowing increasing here yes or no these are reserved for increasing we are not allowing increasing here this is reserved for decreasing this is reserved for same okay so remember this types are different here increasing people here decreasing people here same people so this is your answer very simple so the answer will be this